Hello, I am Jeffrey Dobis, President of ProComsol, here to demonstrate the basic features of the DevCom Smart Device Communicator app for iOS. I've connected a Bluetooth Low Energy Heart Modem, our model HMBLE, to a heart device and pressed the DevCom app icon on my smartphone. The app launched, connected to the Bluetooth Low Energy Heart Modem, and then sent Heart Command 0 to the heart device. It then automatically loaded the correct DD from the DD library. All screens are now driven by the loaded DD. Showing right now is the root menu for the connected device. The top part of the screen shows basic information about the heart device. Device model, tag, and the DD file loaded. On the right shows communication status. Connected means we are connected to the Bluetooth heart modem. When the Bluetooth icon updates, heart communications are occurring. Device status is also basic information. To get the heart device status, press the device status icon on the top right of the screen. You can now see the status bytes. To get details, tap the status you are interested in. You can now see detailed status information for the heart device. This root menu shows the PV measurements of the heart device as dynamic variables. Tapping the black menu button opens a new menu, in this case consisting of more menus. Again, this is driven by the DD. Menu navigation consists of pressing menu buttons and returning using the back arrow icon on the screen. Let's adjust the range for this device. Variables that have white backgrounds can be edited. Others are read only. Click on the variable you want to edit to bring up a virtual keyboard for data entry. Make your edits. The yellow indicates the variable was changed locally, but not yet saved in the heart device. You can make as many edits as you like. When done, press the commit button to send the updated commands to the heart device. If successful, the variable will now have the new value. The hamburger button on the upper left of the screen brings up a menu of more useful functions. A very popular function is the document device. This feature saves all the heart device variables to a common delimited text file and also as a user-friendly PDF file. On this screen you can add optional information to the PDF file. Tapping Save Configuration saves all the device variables. You will get a confirmation message when the download is complete. Another useful feature is configuration download. Here you will see a list of all the device configurations saved on this iOS device. When tapped, you get more details. You can view the PDF and download the configuration back to the original device or a new device of the same type. This cloning feature makes heart device replacement quick and easy. Tap View and you can pick which app to use to view the PDF file. The PDF contains the header information about the configuration along with a list of each variable name, its value, and any associated units. It can even be shared with a colleague if you like. The DD library page makes DD management simple. Whenever you go to this page, the app contacts our DD server to see if you have the latest DD library installed. If you do not, you are notified. Tap Library Contents to see all the devices in the DD library. The library is shown in alphabetical order by device manufacturer. Selecting a manufacturer shows you the individual DDs available. If a specific DD is not yet in the library, simply attain the DD from the device manufacturer, copy it to your iOS device using iTunes, and add it to the library by pressing Add New DD File. Select the DD file you want to add. You can add .fms, .fm6, or .fm8 files. This concludes the basic DevCom app demo. The app is available from the Apple App Store. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.